are our lithium ion rechargeable and then a lot of our lights will run off of a double A rechargeable or double A lithium wow. disposable. So that's a four eight hour and a four hour. Yes. And the beauty is that if you run out of one, you can strap it on again, which is better than actually having the batteries inside, which what we thought was a, a really good idea, you know. Okay. <laughs> but, no, yeah, no. This is an LED-based light, so this, this LED will last, say, 10 to 50,000 hours. Right. This battery can only take 500 charges, oh. and then it's going to have a lot less capacity. So when you're buying a light, you really have to think about your battery replacement thing, the right amount of light for you to see well. Um, it's probably enough light for the motorist to also look at you and see you as a vehicle. Um, it, cyclists don't always get treated so well uh, when traffic is, is coming on them. But when someone sees a vehicle that they just don't know what it is, then they get treated totally differently. And so that's why most of our lights are considered extreme in volume compared to what most people are used to. But when they make that shift, their night riding becomes a lot safer and a lot more enjoyable. light, which most people would never believe an LED light could do that. And uh, that's the reality. This is called the 600 at 600 lumens. Um, the more traditional road bikes tend to go with either one or two 200 lumen lights. A setup like this where both of them are running, sometimes some will point one down and one out, sometimes they'll use <laughs> one narrow and, and one wide, but you really don't need to overthink it. Just having a lot of light solves a lot of problems. They look at you as a vehicle. And when you see red on the road, in intensities like people haven't seen before, the drivers stop, they think about what's going on, and they go around people. And this is a product that's pretty controversial. Most people will look at that and say, I don't get it. Why would someone sell a light that's 10 times the market price of the average tail light? And then the rest of the people, our customers, are the type that won't ride technology and really if you're buying a proprietary battery you really should be buying a lithium-ion battery. Um, if you're buying a light that doesn't use uh, lithium-ion, it's nickel cadmium, then the way to do it or, or using nickel metal hydride is to use a light that uses standard cells so you can go to Walmart, Target, whatever your department store is and get replacement batteries because you're going to find that most brands of lights the replacement cost to your battery is 50 to 75 percent of the light. And if this battery here only works 500 charges, or you lose it, or whatever else goes on, gets left behind on a trip, um, your battery replacement is really what you should be looking at when you're, when you're buying a light. And if you do those things, make sure that you have enough light, which is probably more than you think you needed, and you buy the right battery technology for your needs, You'll be in good shape no matter what brand you pick. Okay, Let's see if yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't mean to point at you, Rich. I'm no, sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I'm yeah, did. <laughs> <laughs> he must have turned the skeleton. This is something when you see it tonight, it, it'll be uh, amazing. It's amazing. Okay. From here, off axis, it's still blinding. Yeah. So, for for people who really like strobing, and I don't like strobing, but I don't want to argue with them. This light has a neat feature because it's in strobe right now, but we have one button no matter what you're doing, whether you're in strobe or anything, you just press this button and you're immediately in high. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, oh, that's, that that's kind of neat because if someone is really strobing and it's dusk and all of a sudden they're in an ugly situation, you don't want to be flipping through mode. Well, this is the real light, actually. And it lights up the entire road, even in the afternoon light here. And that's how you mount it when you've got a bag like this at the Planet Bike one, which is what I've been using. And it lights up the entire road. And Saturday, fit it out with these fancy new lights. I'm going to chase it down the driveway. Wow. Look! <laughs> see if I can see where it's going. That's really good uh, illumination there. It definitely shouldn't have be run into by any kind of car.